Welcome to a lesson on polyhedra. Another area of mathematics where we might have heard the terms vertex, edge, and face is geometry. A polyhedron is a geometric solid made up of flat polygonal faces joined at edges and vertices. We are especially interested in convex polyhedra, which means that any line segment connecting two points on the interior of the polyhedron must be entirely contained inside the polyhedron. On the right, there are two examples of convex polyhedra, where the bottom polyhedron is a cube. The vertices, edges, and faces of a cube satisfy Euler's formula for planar graphs. Looking back at the cube, notice how the cube has eight vertices, 12 edges, and six faces, which indicates for Euler's formula, V equals eight, E equals 12, and F equals six. Applying Euler's formula, notice eight minus 12 plus six is equal to two, Euler's formula is satisfied. This is not a coincidence. We can represent a cube as a planar graph by projecting the vertices and edges onto the plane. One such projection looks like the planar graph below. In fact, every convex polyhedron can be projected onto the plane without edges crossing, which means every convex polyhedron can be represented as a planar graph. Think of placing the polyhedron inside a sphere with a light at the center of the sphere. The edges and vertices of the polyhedron cast a shadow onto the interior of the sphere. We can then cut a hole in the sphere in the middle of one of the projected faces and stretch the sphere to lie down flat on the plane. The face that was punctured becomes the outside face of the planar graph. The point is we can apply what we know about graphs, in particular planar graphs, to convex polyhedra. Since every convex polyhedron can be expressed as a planar graph, we see that Euler's formula for planar graphs holds true for all convex polyhedra as well. We can also apply the handshake lemma. For example, we know that there is no convex polyhedron with 11 vertices, all of degree three. Notice here the degree sum is 11 times three, which is 33, which is equal to twice the number of edges, giving us the equation 2e equals 33. Solving for the number of edges, we divide both sides by two, which gives us E equals 33 divided by two, which is not a whole number, and therefore not possible. There is no convex polyhedron with 11 vertices, all of degree three. And now let's look at some examples. Is there a convex polyhedron consisting of three triangles and six pentagons? How many edges would such polyhedron have? Well, three triangles would give us three times three or nine edges, and six pentagons would give us six times five or 30 edges. However, this counts each edge twice as each edge borders exactly two faces, which means two times the number of edges is equal to 39, dividing both sides by two. We have E equals 39 divided by two, and this is not possible since the number of edges must be a whole number. This indicates there is no such polyhedron consisting of three triangles and six pentagons. And now let's consider a more involved example. Is there a convex polyhedron with three triangles, six pentagons, and five heptagons? A heptagon is a seven-sided polygon. How many edges would such polyhedron have? Well, three triangles gives us three times three or nine edges. Six pentagons gives us six times five or 30 edges. And five heptagons gives us five times seven or 35 edges. However, this counts each edge twice. To find the number of edges, we set 2e equal to 74, where 74 is the sum of 9, 30, and 35. Dividing both sides by two, we have the number of edges equals 37. Well, how many vertices would such polyhedron have? Using Euler's formula, f is equal to three plus six plus five, which is 14. Because the possible faces are three triangles, six pentagons, and five heptagons, and we also know E is equal to 37. Applying Euler's formula, we have V minus 37 plus 14 equals two. Solving for V, we have V equals 25. But we can't stop now. We now need to use the vertices and count the edges again to see if we really can have 37 edges. Each vertex must have degree at least three. That is, each vertex joins at least three faces since the interior angle of all the polygons must be less than 180 degrees. So the sum of the degrees of the vertices is at least 
three times the number of vertices, which is three times 25 or 75, since the sum of the degrees must be exactly twice number of edges from the handshake lemma, we have two times the number of edges, or two times e, must be greater than or equal to 75. And if we solve this inequality for e, notice we get e must be greater than or equal to 37.5. This says that there are strictly more than 37 edges, and this contradicts what we found above, where we found e equals 37, and therefore there is no such polyhedron where the faces are three triangles, six pentagons, and five heptagons. I hope you found this helpful.